First things first, you must make sure that you take your thyroid medication either as soon as you wake up or right before bed. Your doctor, pharmacist, endocrinologist, or whoever gave you the medication has probably advised you to take it first thing in the morning. However, there is nothing special about that time. It is simply the time that has been chosen and that has always been recommended. The reason for this is likely related to the fact that you're essentially creating a buffer zone between when you take your thyroid medication and when you eat breakfast in the morning. We'll talk about the importance of food, but for now, just know that there's nothing special about taking your thyroid medication first thing in the morning. If you put it right next to your nightstand with a glass of water, you take it as soon as you wake up. Although the exact cause of this is unknown, it is likely due to the fact that those who take their thyroid medication right before bed allow the medication to have more time to be absorbed. Recent studies have actually shown that taking it right before bed will likely benefit many people. Those who take it right before bed have higher levels of free thyroid hormone concentrations in their blood, an improved chill level, and frequently just feel better symptomatically. Because they're sleeping, their body is resting and digesting, which gives the body more time to extract the nutrients from the thyroid hormone. In this case, this would be the T4 thyroid hormone if you're taking levothyroxine. Now consider this. The vast majority of people, if not all of them, have a bowel movement first thing in the morning because their bowels are more active in the morning than they are in the evening. Most people also don't wake up in the middle of the night to go potty, so this is understandable. It can be taken first thing in the morning or right before you go to bed, but I'm talking about either right when you wake up with a glass of water and your medication on your nightstand or the last thing you do before you go to bed and close your eyes is take your thyroid medication with a glass of water and then you know go right to bed. This is because your body is simply slowing down and it's allowing the extraction of nutrients as you sleep. Generally, one of those two approaches works best, which brings us to our second point. Make sure you take your thyroid medication at least 30 to 60 minutes before eating or drinking anything other than water. The idea is that you should take your thyroid medication away from anything that contains nutrients that could compete with your stomach for the absorption of thyroid hormone. Therefore, if you take it with a meal, say breakfast in this example, your body will attempt to absorb the thyroid hormone in your medication while also attempting to absorb the nutrients from your meal. Because thyroid medication is somewhat wimpy, pretty much anything can interfere with its absorption. Your body will preferentially absorb more nutrients than thyroid hormone, meaning that people who take their medication with food are not absorbing it to the fullest extent possible. However, the important thing is to give yourself a buffer of 30 to 60 minutes between taking your thyroid medication and eating. This means that you should wait 30 to 60 minutes between taking it and eating, so it doesn't really matter when you take it before or after. As for liquids that are a little less clear, obviously, you'll probably have to take it with water so you don't have to worry about that water doesn't have all the nutrients you need, or at least a lot more than you need to worry about. The third tip is to avoid taking supplements at the same time as your thyroid medication. This is very important because I strongly believe in the use of thyroid-supporting supplements. However, I wouldn't recommend taking it with juice, apple juice, orange juice, milks, or things like that because those things could potentially interfere with the absorption again, probably not by much. It's not a big deal, but just to be safe, I usually recommend just going with water. I have a ton of thyroid support supplements that you can look at if you're interested, and I have a ton of experience understanding how supplements interact and interact with thyroid medication because I've helped tens of thousands of thyroid patients use these supplements. The truth is that most supplements simply need to be taken 30 to 60 minutes away from when you take your thyroid supplement, so it's really similar to when you take food and when you take thyroid medication. Therefore, you should wait 30 to 60 minutes after eating and 30 to 60 minutes after taking your supplements, unless, and this is a big caveat, you are taking an isolated and dedicated iron supplement or calcium supplement. Because calcium and iron bind to the thyroid hormone and prevent its absorption, 
They can and will interfere with thyroid medication. If you are taking either of those supplements on their own, I'm talking about an isolated and dedicated iron supplement or calcium supplement, you should wait four hours. You've probably heard the four hour mark. If you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make so. If you enjoyed them, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. This goes a long way in helping us grow that said back to the video. Because your pharmacist or doctor has advised you to avoid taking anything within four hours of taking your thyroid medication. But that is usually not necessary for the reasons I've listed below. For example, most people are probably not taking iron because you really shouldn't be taking it unless you are iron deficient because taking too much of it could cause problems. If you have low iron or low ferritin and are trying to grow back your hair or something similar, take it at least four hours away. I'm talking about a dedicated isolated iron or dedicated isolated calcium supplement. If you are taking a multivitamin, such as my thyroid multivitamin, it may contain a small amount of iron, but that is not a big deal. The next thing to be concerned about is taking your thyroid medication with coffee or caffeine because these two substances stimulate the gastrointestinal tract. I'm not sure if we are on number five here, but you should avoid taking your thyroid medication with either of these for that reason alone. Imagine that you had a cup of coffee, waited an hour, and then took your thyroid medication. Even in this scenario, you would still have trouble absorbing the medication because coffee stimulates the gastrointestinal tract and helps it move. This is another reason why many people have bowel movements first thing in the morning. After taking your thyroid medication, guess what? Your gut has been stimulated and is moving faster, which means that your body will have less time to absorb the thyroid hormone in that medication for several hours afterwards. Therefore, if you're going to take it, don't take it. For example, if you take coffee in the morning, take your medication either before or right before bed. This will allow the caffeine to metabolize in your body and to decrease over time, hopefully not affecting the absorption of your medication. Therefore, avoid taking it anywhere near caffeine or coffee, especially not at the same time and preferably not afterwards, unless you know it will be 12 hours later for the reasons I previously mentioned. Additionally, these are just a few more suggestions that I want you to remember afterward. The second is to keep in mind that not all thyroid medications are made equally. For instance, tyrosine and tyrosine are two examples of thyroid medications that are much easier for your body to absorb than others. Studies have shown that you can take these medications with food and it doesn't affect absorption which leads me and many other people to believe that the problem with absorption isn't so much with the thyroid medication itself as it is with the inactive binders and fillers within the medication. Therefore, if you are experiencing problems even after removing medic supplements, cutting back on food, or giving up coffee or caffeine, it may be time to think about switching to a different type of thyroid medication that contains fewer fillers or binders. Tyrosine is one of those. If you want to stick to taking to four medications, or you can get compounded to three, which will allow you to control what kind of inactive fillers and binders are present in those medications. Lastly, treating gut disorders or gut dysfunction may also help improve the effectiveness of thyroid medication. So keep in mind that a lot of what we've been discussing has to do with the gut. If you can resolve any gut-related issues, you can improve the effectiveness of your thyroid medication. This is a little more complicated because you have to figure out what's wrong and how to resolve that issue. But I'm at least bringing it up here as a general overview. If all else fails and you try switching medications, you should listen to your gut because it may contain the answer to your issue. Thus, keep in mind that if you take thyroid medication, you should adhere to these instructions as they will provide you with the best possible outcome and give your body the time it needs to absorb the maximum amount of thyroid medication or thyroid hormone from your medication. As we wrap up this important discussion on how to correctly take your thyroid medication, it's crucial to remember that small adjustments can make a significant difference in your health. Taking your medication at the right time, with the correct dosage, 
and following specific guidelines can enhance its effectiveness, ensuring that your thyroid levels remain stable and that you feel your best. Whether it's waiting a certain period before eating or avoiding certain supplements, these seemingly minor details are key to managing your thyroid health effectively. As we wrap up this important discussion on how to correctly take your thyroid medication, it's crucial to remember that small adjustments can make a significant difference in your health. Taking your medication at the right time, with the correct dosage, and following specific guidelines can enhance its effectiveness, ensuring that your thyroid levels remain stable and that you feel your best. Whether it's waiting a certain period before eating or avoiding certain supplements, these seemingly minor details are key to managing your thyroid health effectively. If you've been struggling with symptoms despite being on thyroid medication, it might be worth revisiting how you take your meds. Consult with your healthcare provider to ensure that you're following the best practices for your unique situation. Remember, your health is a journey, and taking proactive steps in your treatment can lead to better outcomes and an improved quality of life. Thank you for joining us at Health Angel Solutions, where we strive to provide you with the most accurate and helpful health information. Give this video a thumbs up, tell your friends and family about it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking videos. Your support helps us continue to bring you valuable health tips and information. We'll see you in the upcoming video, and until then, stay safe and informed.